Hi guys, welcome to the Fourth Moment Show. My name is Shamil, and today's guest we have Jerome Damon, who is the XPSL and our World Cup referee. Welcome, Jerome. Hello. Thanks, man. Good to be in your house. Yes, nice, nice to have you here at yeah. our place. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we're excited to hear about refereeing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited to hear all the, you know, all the preparation and stuff referees do. Um, you know, as players and coaches, yeah. for us, um, you know, that's just the guy in the middle that we don't want to be. That's the target. <laughs> So I'm sure there's a different story to that. Yeah. Uh, but tell us first a bit about Jerome. Um, where you're from? Um, how you got to referee? Okay, so I grew up in Bridgetown. My mom, my mom still lives in Bridgetown, mm -hmm. um, across the road from Bridgetown High in Brushwood Road. Um, and so that's where my love for football grew because my, my, my late father, he was involved with football at all levels. Okay. He was a footballer. He was a, a coach. He mm. coached some of the teams like Norway Parks and um, okay. and uh, at at um, the then Fork in Rylands, mm -hmm. Baltic Rangers. Okay. And so he, yeah. he you know he knows the Majitsi, He knows the Shokut Mias and all of them. Okay. He served on the executive. He was at one stage. He was also the um, the secretary of the Western Province Football Board, where he served with Vincent Barchis and okay. Norman and all of them. Mm. So I grew up amongst those people um, and also he refereed okay. and after his playing career he also refereed before he became a manager and a coach and um, I never played football <laughs> and there was a there's a very valid reason why was it? he took me to a football match once was he was the babysitter um, so obviously I went mm -hmm. um, my sister wasn't born at the time I think so it was probably four or five just turning five my sister just been born yes and um, <laughs> he played in the match and I sat in the touchline, you know, you sit here, so I obviously sat with the subs and they were cool. So he played while you sat on the sideline? Yes, because he was busy playing um, okay. and I was with, with, with the other people. Yes, I okay. At that time, I didn't know who they were. Um, and right in front of me, in front of the benches at the time, there was this crunching tackle and I just heard... Okay. I said, uh-uh, <laughs> this game is way too rough for me, I haven't played this game. Okay. So I never played. Um, but down the road, if you know Bridgetown, just down mm -hmm. the road, on the, on, there's a field, there's yes. a football field at the bottom in Cornflower Street. Yes, yes. I spent all of my days there, every Saturday from early morning right up to five o'clock when they play football there, or at Field Crescent, mm -hmm. because my friends all play football. Okay. And then, you know when you, when you pick sides to play street football? Yeah. And so the worst talented person was always the last pick. Okay. I wasn't even on that list. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even on that list. So you can imagine how horrible yeah. I was. And but, then, well, what was your age that time? What are this? Oh, Were you in, obviously in high school? Yes, I was primary school, high school. Oh, okay. So, okay. so I was on the field all the time. Mm. Um, and of course, then uh, the people that my dad hung out with eventually were all referees. Okay. So they were Trevor Christian. Um, Ahmad Sali, um, yeah, yeah, Ashraf Parker, Hamza Norton, Al the late Alton, Alton Hendricks, and all of them. Okay. He hung out with all of them. Mm. Uh, Jane Lini Manning, Gavin Manuel, mm. all of them. Okay. So he hung out with them, and so when I went to the football field eventually with him again, I used mm. to watch them. So it was only like, there's Uncle Trevor, there's Uncle Gavin, yes, and blah, okay. blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, I used to listen, I mean, those referees, I can tell you stories about how they referee. That mouth, you! I, I, Jane, did you mind him? Uh -huh. uh, everybody was scared of him. <laughs> because, yeah, anyway. anyway. yeah. Yeah, so then, so I identified with them. Mm. And of course, my, my, I mean, on the Saturday, I was on the field with my friends. And then one day, the referee didn't pitch. Now, you said that players and managers don't like to no, be the ref. No ways. That's the worst thing you can do to football when the ref don't pitch. Yes, because everybody's no oh, yeah, everybody's we like. Yeah. But for not you say that? There's no game. There's no game without the ref. I hope people remember that. There's no, no game without the ref. Look with uh, I think I've been coaching for sixteen years and yeah. I always used to tell the players, um, you know, when they go at the ref, you need to relax because without that guy, we don't play today. <laughs> and we want to play. Why is that vice? <laughs> but uh, there are more stories I can tell you. So the ref don't pitch. So my, mm. so my friend said to me, listen, 
Mm. You know, really wrote out the team sheets. I wrote out the team sheets because I had the neatest handwriting. Okay. So that's the, the that's where my talent <laughs> lies. Um, so anyway, so I said, okay, fine, find a whistle. Mm. But I had one rule: anybody shout at me. Okay. I put this whistle down. You walk away. And I walk off the field. I wish to this day I had taken my own advice <laughs> because the amount of people that shouted at me uh, in my career, yeah, I can. We're gonna we're gonna touch on that later. Oh <laughs> gosh, goodness. So that's when it started. I refereed the game. I enjoyed it. I think my my, my friends went to poop skate. Okay, but now you say you refereed the game. Um, that tells me then you obviously had a good idea of the laws of the game by watching the other people. Yes, or I, did you I, actually make a certain effort to actually learn? No, 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 I mean, at that point in time, there was no effort. Yeah. I watched them. Which is by the eye. I, yes, and I watched their styles. And for me, I was into the style of their style of refereeing. Oh. And at that time, in the IDFA, um, oh, where, my friends, yeah, yeah. Where, my, okay. where my friends played, there were the Vic Rosas. Mm. And then, of course, the character, George, the late Georgie Ludovic. Okay. Um, Trevor David's sister. The, the one they called, the, um, he called, eventually became sister. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Trevor David was a referee. And so, and they were uh, Manzoni's, they were all there. Okay. Um, and so I watched their mannerisms, how they control. And for me, the issue was how to control the game. Laws of the game, you must be mad. <laughs> but all about controlling those players that okay. the play. Um, and the one thing I, looked, I remembered from the late George Ludovic was, he had character, he had charisma, but whenever he blew that whistle, everybody knew he was in charge. Mm. And that was my, that was my tactic. Okay. Blow that whistle as loud no, as you can, okay. and then people think you know what you're doing. Mm. Um, Fake it till you make it. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I made it, but <laughs> yeah. So that's where the referee okay. came from. Mm. Um, and then, I, then eventually, you know, things rolled on. Mm. I started referring in the IDFA. Yeah. I, Within two weeks, I refereed under 16, and at that time I was 18. Okay. I refereed under 16 because they were competitive. I didn't want to do that under 10s. There was no skill there. I was I was bored. Oh, okay. And I said to the convener, "Please, man, don't give me under eight, under you know, under 16 games and up." Yeah. And then. But can I just interrupt mm, you? Then? Sure. So, so you 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 now telling us about the game, yeah. which was between where there was no yeah. referee and so on, and now you refereeing at the IDFA where they're actually allocating your games. Can How you, did that then? Did you not decide, okay, you're going to do it again? Yes, I decided. Okay. I enjoyed this, so I may as well just try it. Okay. And, and then I decided, if I don't enjoy this anymore, I'll stop. Oh, okay. Um, and still enjoying it. Still enjoy <laughs> it. Um, okay. And so, yeah, so I got to referee. Eventually, I got to referee. Mm. And so when I walked in, so now I'm at the FA, refereeing mm. under 60, and my dad realizes, hang on, this is now becoming serious. Yeah. So what he, do, what he does is, is he gives me all his kit. He says, from today onwards, I'm retired. Okay. And he said to me, I don't want you to use your surname often. I looked at him, I said, why? And I never understood. Mm -hmm. Until I understood in the, the way he where he had office eventually, as secretary of the board, secretary of the mm -hmm. referees, in charge of refereeing, he didn't want me to, to sort of grow in refereeing mm -hmm. on his name. Yes, okay. He said to me, his words to me was, there can only be one Damon in referee. Mm. And so I'm retiring, I'm handing it over to you. Mm. And I remember my very, very, very first game, I refereed in the in the top that he refereed uh, uh, a fourth final. Okay. He gave me his whistle and it was, I remember it was an orange top. Mm. Um, I still had the, the fourth name on it and everything. Wow, and that okay. was my, that was my, yeah. even though I was refereeing in IDFA, mm. That was the top I refereed in. And I'm sure at that time you don't, I mean, because knowing now, I mean, we all grown yeah. up and stuff, that, yeah. that was actually a heavy thing that he did. Correct. And at that time you didn't even, what, at, what, 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 no. At that time I'm like, this is a bad, dying, you know, yeah. where's he going to? Yeah. Um, and so, well, well, then it's safe to say that he obviously saw what was coming when he saw you ref. Well, he didn't see me referee. He, he just did. he just saw me leave the house and come back and said I refereed, and then he thought, oh, okay, fine. Okay. I don't know to this day if he heard from people that I was mm. refereeing or heard about what mm. whether I was competent or not. Mm. But this was his okay. this was his idea, and yeah. that's how we sort of just you know yeah okay. went up, went up. and that's where refereeing started. That's where it started. Yeah. So obviously now, yes, you're in the organized structure. Mm. And if I, there is surely teaching happening now. Correct. Um, Correct. You obviously now need to know the rules of the game. Exactly. I can't <laughs> fake it anymore. I need to know what I'm talking about because yeah. now the players, now I'm refereeing senior football mm. and 
I've always said that uh, and to this day I say to referees, you need to know the laws of the game. You need to be prepared mm. because those players train really hard. Yes, you may say it's amateur football mm. and everything, but they give up time. They expend money. Mm. They want to enjoy the game. And the last thing you need is for a referee to spoil the game. Yeah. I looked at George Ludovic and Trevor Christian and them and how they ref and people were drawn to their refereeing because they had charisma, they had style, and they were also very good. They were fit and they knew the laws of the game and they took no prisoners. Okay. Um, I can't say what I want to say, but they said they took no prisoners. <laughs> yeah, they just leave it there. Yeah. It's family show was <laughs> so um yeah. Okay. So, so so that's okay. No. Yeah. So so the, the obviously as for a player, yeah. um, you you start climbing the ladder. Correct. You start getting to more uh, yeah. maybe regional competitions or bigger yes. tournaments. That must have happened. Exactly. How was that sort of journey? Or what are things like Coke Cup and stuff like that? You yes, of course, yeah. of course. So then eventually I got a referee in in the um, in the then Toyota Super League. Oh yes. And yes. that was tough. Very tough. Mm -hmm. Very, very. I don't think any referee refereeing today, mm. or any of the footballers playing today, no. understood the standard of that competition. Yeah. I mean, um, Manchester Rovers versus Premier at the Noble Park. No, massive Ooh. game. Massive, massive. Sporting game. versus Blue Gum yeah. at Bonteville. Um, at Bonteville yeah. and there was no cage at the time. No, there wasn't. Yeah. Out of the no, you yeah. must know that, and that crowd at Sporting. Yeah. And the they, games at uh, Field Crescent. At Field Crescent, they close in on you like this. Yeah. And of course, then, you, then there was no nothing about specialization. So mm -hmm. you were a referee, or you were uh, what then was a line or now assistant referee. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Club, you mm -hmm. just run that line, mm -hmm. and whatever's there, you have to run over or run in the field. And, and mm -hmm. I remember at Ada Fault. It was, um, uh, what is the team from Edelfeld now? Uh, Junction Rovers at the okay, time. Yeah. Um, and there was another Edelfeld team that played. Was it uh, Celtic? Or Arian or something like that? Some, anyway, I can't remember. FC maybe. Yeah. The game is playing hard. It was also a Toyota Super League match. Mm -hmm. I was the assistant referee. And I'm running against the, the, the Viber Great of, or the wall. Okay. If you can remember. In Edelfeld. Yeah. In Edelfeld. Yeah, okay. And I tell you that line is packed, eh? And at halfway, there's this group of guys sitting with their beers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And further down the line, there's the Taharukas. Mm -hmm. And on the corner, there's just whoever. Mm -hmm. And you have to pass everything and you just hear, Jay lies from the main And yeah. so, of course, now you have to hold your words about you. Mm -hmm. You said, Allah, all right, no. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> and of course, I said, Jay, you're not going to be a good guy. And it was just an amazing atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Of course, then, also at the same time with the Toyota Super League, there was the Sanlam Challenge. Okay. Um, I don't know if you remember the yeah. Sanlam Challenge. Where there was this Challenge Cup where all the juniors played football across the whole of Cape Town. Okay, I think I do, yeah. Um, and uh, in every division. Mm. And they always had the finals in Hartley Vale. Okay, yes, yeah. Um, and of course, to referee the finals, this is the, this is the regional final, mm. you know. Yeah. Started, they started with very much like the coke now mm. for seniors it was there was a junior competition as well yes yeah run by um i remember Daud esak uh, now at cape town tigerberg he, oh, okay. he headed the, the the junior board at the time but and the late basil palace yes and, okay yes yeah okay so <clears throat> and then yeah, also time, okay. uh, yes <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, old fellows <laughs> um so i remember the the one under 17 final that i refereed yeah uh, it was Carlos Scott, Benny McCarthy, um, Breslin Hemper, um, uh, the other Breslin from, from West, he played for Westreach, mm. um, Monique Josephs, all of them played in that game. It was, yeah. it was a phenomenal final. Mm. And I think that is what, you know, we, we, yes, we players and coaches, we know those are all things. That yeah. we, but um, for some reason, I don't know if it's just me, you know, you don't think of the referee actually. Yeah. But wanting to attain that level also. Exactly. We also want to move up the ranks. We also want to referee the crunch games. And I think my personality lends itself to the fact that I get very bored if there's no spectators. I like it when it's tight. Okay. It's a needle. Yeah. Because it keeps me on my toes. It keeps me focused. It keeps me sharp. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it brings the best in me. Okay. It's not the best in me. So, th I mean, then we went. And then, of course, there was this regional tournaments that they had. Mm. They... Um, so it was the under 16 inter provincial I was okay. eventually selected to represent Western Province mm. for and of course Carlo and Muneeb and Breslau yeah. and Heinrich Wanzai and them all played in that, in that Western Province team. 
Okay, so so um, so obviously you 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 now you're getting to the big games. Mm. Um, do you think to yourself, okay, you know, I have this big shot now, I'm climbing the ladder? No. Do you was there a plan to plot down? Okay, here, hang on. Uh, when do you realize that okay, I can actually do something with this, or were you just enjoying it? Were you so, just having fun? I was having a lot of fun, but my dad always said to me. Always treat this game with respect mm, okay. because one day you will die and this game will still be here. Mm. He said, One day I will die and this game will still be here. Mm. Um, so treat this game with respect and the game will treat you with respect. Mm. And I've always maintained that I'm going to treat players mm. like I would want to be treated. Yeah. Players and managers and coaches are human beings. Mm. Yes, they're going to lose it. Who doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't? Um, and so. That the referee it. doesn't, hopefully. Exactly, the referee shouldn't. Yeah. But we do. Yeah, okay. You get under my skin and eventually I'm gonna like, when I give that card, I'm gonna have this sadistic self satisfaction. Yes, I got you. Right? <laughs> um, but but I for me, it doesn't happen often. Mm. Um, there, have, there were moments where I just I completely lost it, and I'll mm. tell you some more about that. Um, so now we're at regional competition mm. in, in, at Fitz University, okay. I remember. Um, Western Province, although they were extremely, they were a very strong team. Mm. The late um, Willie Dasani, he yes. was the he was the, the manager, oh, coach okay. of the, at the time. He was also my number eight educator. <laughs> um, so he he had a very strong, they had a very very strong team. Now they should have walked every game, but I think also they got done in by referees. Oh, this is always what coaches say: they got yeah, done in by referees. So exactly, one. of course, it's easy because we don't defend ourselves. <laughs> Um, mm. And then in Southern Transvaal played Southern Natal. Yeah, old terminology. Old right? terminology. Yeah. Yeah. So they played in the in the final in 1996. Okay. Um, and the referees group there, the management appointed me for that final. Oh, okay. And that was my step. And that was in the June, and in September of that year, I broke into the PSL. Okay, I was going to ask you, so yeah. when did that happen? Yeah, then? that happened around by then, but I'll tell you an interesting story about, about football. So my dad coached a team, um, it was also involved with coaching a team in Atlantis, or they played in Atlantis, I can't quite remember the sequence. Yeah, yeah, he was coaching Hazendal at the time. Okay. And they played in Atlantis. Okay. I don't, it wasn't Coke, it was, must have been the, the Super League at the time, and I was the referee. Probably Joe Mose or somebody that played Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was the referee. That was Aberdeen. Oh, Aberdeen, okay. Yeah, okay. I was the referee. And my dad was the coach of Amazon. Uh, okay, interesting. And he chirped me <laughs> and he chirped me. I said, Coach, shout at your team, don't shout at me and my team, please. Mm. Let's have respect. Uh, uh, and the Mahdi Ali Khan, I said, No, man. Mm. I said, No, no, I've had enough of you, you're out of here, move. Mm. And I sent my father off. <laughs> Obviously, he got home before me. I got in afterwards, I didn't say a word. Mm. Um, and he then. I then heard from the guys at the at the Western Province offices, um, Harry Fisher. Yes. Um, he then told Harry, "You had a good career, no? Oh, okay. His team will have half. And yeah, I was out the door. Now I'm not gonna have supper or yeah. food for the rest of the day or the rest of the weeks. <laughs> so that happened. So mm. I also learned because I had friends that played in those leagues. I had family that played mm. in the leagues. I also learned that I needed to be able to make a judgment call." Even when my family played, yeah. even when my closest friends played, mm. I, re I understood very uh, in a, from a very early age, I needed to remain neutral. Yeah. Um, and to make the decisions to the best of my ability. Mm. I also understood I'm going to make mistakes. mistakes. But I was going to say, obviously, but people that know you, then they would know that it's not a, it's a mistake. It's Correct. not something, yeah, yeah. You know, if they believe different. Correct. And that's also what you brought. And that was part, because that's part of your character, that's part of your referring. Any referee, mm. any referee must understand that you need to maintain your integrity all the time. Mm. And it takes one moment of weakness mm. for you to compromise your integrity and it is shot for life. Yeah. I've got more stories to tell you about integrity, don't worry, <laughs> we'll get there. Um, so anyway, broke into the PSL and of course that time we were assistant referees or linesmen. Yes. So my very first game in the PSL was as a linesman. Okay. Yeah, and I went on to ref, to run the line for many games, okay. um, including Chiefs Pirates with Ian McLeod as the referee and uh, Ahmad Sali as the other assistant referee. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I ran lots of lines. I even did a cup final in South Africa as an assistant referee. The last 
Bob Safe Super Bowl final yes, yes. in uh, 1999. Were you the assistant? I was there to be. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. okay.